In astrology, Jupiter is the planet of good luck, optimism, and success, and its placement in specific zodiac sign can give you clues on where your treasures are, where the blessings are hidden in your chart, and which best ways you can manifest abundance. This video is all about Jupiter through 12 zodiac signs. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive readings. If you like my content and enjoy my work, please take a few seconds of your time to leave me a like or a comment, subscribe, and press the notification bell. It really helps my channel grow bit by bit, small step by small step. It encourages YouTube algorithm to bring more views my way. If you want to show, saying, show your support, you can also th say thank you by buying me a coffee or a T, for some reason S and T sounds are like confusing for me today. I appreciate everyone who takes advantage of that. And before we dive in, a couple of announcements. If you have important questions you'd like to work with me, you can book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. There are a few options. I do relationship compatibility readings, natal chart readings that can help you understand yourself, understand your goals and life purpose and your gifts and how they can be best applied as well as predictive readings, and those are obviously more predictive directed towards the future. You can find all the options on my website. On my website in the shop section, you can also find my planetary creations. This is the Jupiter and Taurus candle. It was created in May 2024, shortly before Jupiter left Taurus for Gemini, which is the sign of its detriment. So we are currently in a year of Jupiter in detriment. And that means that it's a little bit harder to find coherence when the world is full of options and possibilities where we may be questioning things. So getting Jupiter and Taurus candle can help bring back some of that stable Taurian energy. It's especially good if you're born with Jupiter in Virgo, Gemini or Capricorn, which are the signs of detriment and fall. If your Jupiter is in the dark house, 6th, 8th or 12th, and if it's conjunct square opposition Saturn. These would be my recommendations. Thank you for listening to that. Let's talk about Jupiter through the zodiac signs. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's 300 times the size of Earth and it em emits about twice the amount of light and warmth, um, the heat specifically actually, it receives from the sun. So Jupiter is considered to have an internal heat source and it's kind of like a miniature sun. When we move towards Jupiter astrologically, we're leaving, or astronomically, we're leaving the asteroid belt behind and we're entering the domain of gas giants, right? So astrologically, we're also leaving the domain of personal planets, which are Mercury, Venus, and Mars. They're all about like, you know, our desires, our wants, our communication style, and we're entering the domain of interpersonal planets. Um, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune have all, you know, they all represent our relationship to the world and with the world. And Jupiter is actually known as the greater benefic. So it has, a, it can be compared to Venus in terms of bringing blessing, blessings and good luck. But Venus has to do with once again, sort of like immediate, you know, you're hungry, you put good food in your belly, you feel good versus Jupiter has to do with your calling in life, your mission, your sort of sense of growth and your even some kind of like spiritual social purpose, right? Jupiter is the planet of good luck. It's the planet of optimism, success and generosity. It's associated with the idea of growth and stability, but growth through learning, through improving, through expanding into the world and applying yourself. Once again, it's like how you relate with the world and how what you see is as important for your growth and what, it, what you see is important for applying yourself to the world. Um, so, you know, like I think Jupiter, when we're talking about Jupiter wanting to create coherence and stability, we're thinking of the unity between self and others. We're also thinking of the unity within the body where your uh, mental state and physical state and spiritual state and mental, physical, spiritual bodies are all working together as one. That's why Jupiter is classically considered to be the guru, the, the 
sage, the sort of wise spiritual leader, right? Like you can also, Jupiter is quite different from Mercury. They both have to do with knowledge, but Mercury has to do with facts and Jupiter has to do with like the bigger truth with, it's like you can think of it as like the scientist for Mercury versus the yoga teacher for Jupiter. Uh, quite different vibes, right? That's why, that's actually why Jupiter is in its detriment in Mercury ruled signs of Virgo and Gemini, because Mercury tends to take things apart, analyze them, and find multiple possibilities, multiple facts. It's all about the facts versus Jupiter is about like spiritual kind of calling. Practices like yoga, meditation, tai chi, martial arts, massage are all designed to achieve that unity between different parts of your body. Yoga is literally, you know, I believe yoga is translated into union. In a natal chart, Jupiter represents how outgoing you are. If it's in a fire sign or, or an air sign, you might naturally be someone who's like more outgoing versus if it's in a water or earth sign you might feel a little bit more receptive more driven to like stay within connect with family and be a bit more introverted it can describe whether you attract money and possessions and how you attract money and possessions it definitely represents your good fortune and how attract good fortune how to manifest good fortune it could also tell you which career you are likely to be more successful in once again if your Jupiter is in a fire sign like a Sagittarius or an Aries you might prefer to work solo and be an entrepreneur versus if it's um, you know Virgo maybe or Taurus you might choose careers that are more stable Virgo might be all about healing and doing work that helps other people versus Taurus might be about uh, learning everything there is about finances and helping other people achieve stability financially. It can also describe um, the good things that come to you easily and the things that might take a little bit more effort. Once again, the position of Jupiter, the strength of Jupiter will determine how optimistic you are and how abundant your blessings are. It doesn't mean that if your Jupiter is in Gemini, Virgo or Capricorn, you get less blessings. They might just be a bit more different from some other signs. With important Jupiter, with big Jupiter, right? If it's prominently placed on your in your first house, in your 10th house, you tend to be well-liked, popular, broad-minded, friendly, cheerful, and quite successful. Very liked, very well-liked as well. Uh, my first astrology teacher, Austin Kopak, is a Cancer rising. Hello, Austin, if for some reason you're watching it, but he is a Cancer, <laughs> he's a Cancer rising with Jupiter and Cancer in the first house. And I think he's very well liked for sure. And he has that Jupiterian spirit of wanting to share and being quite generous. And of course, you know, sometimes Jupiter can be too much of a good thing. If you overdo Jupiter, you can be a bit maybe like overconfident, a little bit lazy, a little bit overindulgent, um, irresponsible, leave, leaving the work to other people. We have to learn the blessings, take, take Jupiter with sort of responsible attitude and learn the lessons he's here to teach us. So let's talk about Jupiter through the zodiac signs. As always, if you want me to take a look at your natal chart, to talk about the Jupiter in the sign and the house and the aspects it's making, everything needs to be considered as a unity, which is what Jupiter is all about. You can book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. And let's dive in. If you were born with Jupiter and Aries, you are a natural born leader. You have courage. You have sort of like innocent exuberance you have like that desire to go into new places and explore new things this is my placement so i'm going to be biased to it but i also know of, like a lot of people with this placement i know a couple um they're 12 years apart and they both have jupiter and aries and so you know and they're older and so for them a lot of it was like like the husband is a professor so it was about like kind of dedicating a lot of time to knowledge and then the wife is also kind of a professor but she's done a lot of new things she led conferences they both lived in France for a little bit so so a lot of kind of you know 
benefits through trying new things and being brave and going after kind of exciting possibilities um new new possibilities i think if you're born with jupiter in aries you might be someone who's good in crisis you may kind of think very fast and be good on your feet i think is the saying um and very much like you know you believe in the power of self with this placement you will be and that's where the leadership comes in because you lead by example you show people how to achieve things you show you preach almost like you sort of like preach positivity you preach optimism you preach like re risk taking because you like innately believe that there is nothing wrong with like exploring your desires right like a lot of times people might be limited by doubting or questioning or second guessing and jupiter and aries is very much just like go for it just you know life is what you make life is what you make of it life is like in your hands <laughs> in my chart i feel like it's also like ex expanded even more by the fact that my north node is in aries but i literally if you have done a reading with me i'm always my attitude is always like just focus on yourself because when people come to me with relationship problems and they try to understand the other person my answer is like we can't really know the other person and all we can focus on is ourselves of course you know there's exceptions to every single situation but like let's say someone is interested in a person and they don't know how they feel about them my advice as a jupiter and aries is always like go within make sure you're the best version of yourself project that energy and that energy will be appealing and they will draw it will draw the right person your way um this placement can be competitive it can be very like physically active very athletic competitive so like in terms of athletic pursuits right maybe maybe you played competitive sports maybe you're just competing with others professionally doing work that is entrepreneurial doing work that lets you be alone and sort of take your own action right i think is quite important um opportunities may come into your life and good fortune may come into your life when you take the lead when you step up speak up um when you initiate projects when you explore something that hasn't been done before jupiter and aries is behind the i mean there are people behind it but jupiter and aries is behind nike's logo slogan of like just do it right so so good fortune comes when you're leading when you're initiating when you're inspiring when you're demonstrating like physically demonstrating enthusiasm courage and and yeah like not shying away from new experiences if you are you know if if the world has a need for something and you go in there and do things in your own unique entrepreneurial way you're more likely to gain success um and yeah like this could also be the positive effect of it could be your charm and your childlike enthusiasm it can be great for winning over people bringing people to your side to your cause getting support um from other people support of other people but the shadow side could be selfishness maybe right aries could be very sort of self-driven side sign being too aggressive too forceful in your expression and that can lead to over expansion taking excessive risks and maybe not finishing things right jupiter and aries aries is a cardinal fire sign is that spark of fire spark of initiative but it doesn't always lead to completion <laughs> Let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. We can go over all of your placements, talk about your future, the year coming up, or your relationship. Now, if you were born with Jupiter in Taurus, this is a very slow, steady, sensual placement. If you were born with this placement, you have innate an innate understanding of needing to have a good balance in your life needing to savor the moment right like you're not someone who is just all in and maybe just work 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 you can be quite productive and quite sort of materially driven but you also on a deeper level know that life has more to offer right it has sensual pleasures 
it has um, beauty, art, sort of things you can smell, touch, feel, and things like that. Um, you grow a lot in life from like you know Taurus is quite good at manifesting things so a lot of times when you believe in your own success when you believe and that you're worth it that almost attracts success to you um, and you can benefit a lot with this placement through working in finance and through working with like art and beauty and maybe fashion industry being in sales being um, property manager Taurus is very much about these like stable type things and you you naturally with this placement also unless Jupiter is, a de is debilitated by the house position or by like you know being combust sun or something else like naturally you're likely to be someone who's quite good and has has good knowledge of finances has good knowledge of what's worth and not worth investing into um, and similarly, like I said, you know, real estate, property management, land, maybe even maybe even growing things. I think Jupiter and Taurus is very much historically associated with um, major developments in like food industry and real estate and things like that. However, you may sometimes struggle with being overly materialistic, right? And just kind of focusing on having that stability and security too much to a point that you're missing on spiritual satisfaction. So you have to be very much aware of that and know that you attract the most good fortune when you're actually charitable and generous with other people, but also, of course, discriminating and patient. And I think when you are teaching other people how to have a good life, work-life balance, when you're teaching other people to appreciate the world around them. Because that's what you're naturally good at. You're naturally good at savoring, appreciating the world around you, and you also have highly developed sensuality. So for some of you with this placement, you may also benefit through like, you know, being on screen or sort of maximizing your beautiful appearance because it's a Venus ruled Jupiter um, into a financial reward potentially or professional reward. Let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. We can look at your entire chart, talk about the future and your relationship if you'd like to know about compatibility. Now, if you were born with Jupiter in Gemini, this is the Jupiter period we're in right now from May 2024 until June 9th, 2025. If you're watching this video in this period, that's what's happening in the sky. Jupiter in Gemini is very curious, very good at multitasking, learning a lot of different things. It's, it's very open-minded. It's always kind of asking for the facts. Um, and can benefit very much from, you know, using their wit, using their versatility, using their social skills, kind of moving the positions of power through being able to get along with others, through being naturally curious, because you're kind of very good at adjusting to other people, very good at mimicking people and that's also one of your gifts is the skills with languages you're likely to be someone who has like a really good ear for languages um and you have a natural ability to put people at ease no matter where people are coming from with their background you have this kind of friendliness that is a part of you that is a gift you have that other people are naturally drawn drawn towards um you have a very active mind and that sometimes is a blessing and a curse, right? The blessing is, of course, once again, that ability to adapt and learn and teach. People with Jupiter and Gemini make prolific writers and teachers and speakers, right? We have, uh, I did a video on Jupiter and Gemini Montessori, Maria Montessori, I believe. She was the one who designed her unique sort of teaching method based on the, the gap in the market, I guess, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like her school is all about catering to kids with diff different 
skill sets, different strengths. It's not one size fits all. So that is that is what Jupiter and Gemini is really good at. It's good at adapting to other people. It's constantly questioning things, constantly curious. Jupiter and Gemini is considered to be in detriment. And um, that is because that tendency to always question things and take things apart is contradictory to Jupiterian nature of wanting to put things together, wanting to find coherence. I highly recommend my Jupiter and Taurus candle if you were born with Jupiter and Gemini because this is Jupiter in a stronger position. It is empowered by being co-present with Venus and Taurus and has more stability, has more kind of grounded quality. But, and so, you know, and that's where I think like, since we are talking about the challenges of Jupiter and Gemini, the challenges may come from that endless curiosity where you would rather explore more skills than commit to one, where you would rather keep learning about something than actually kind of dedicate the energy towards it. You may be changeable, right? You may be overthinking and worrying about things. And so a little bit of that like, Jupiterian optimism can be dampened by the mercurial tendency to just like go, 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 go. Well, sometimes it's good to sit in the field and smell flowers. And that's what, that's what Jupiter and Taurus is all about. Um, opportunities may come to you through intellectual, verbal, written channels. So doing work that involves either being the you know, being the communicator, being someone who deals with a lot of people, puts other people at ease, or doing work that requires your intelligence, that allows you to write, that allows you to speak, that allows you kind of, even, even doing work that requires a wide range of skills, right? You can be that person that manages things because you know a little bit about everything. So let me know how this resonates, if I did you justice. And if you want to know more about your Jupiter, about your natal chart, about your relationship and your year coming up, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. Now, if you were born with Jupiter and Cancer, Jupiter and Cancer has the strong awareness of loyalty and connectivity and sort of empathy, right? Cancer is the sign of family and and connection and closeness and so whether you've had a good childhood or not whether you're close with your family or not you will naturally create that sense of family around you and for most people with this placement they really do have a very strong relationship with family sometimes to their own detriment right if family is not really great and if family is kind of draining. But for the most part, this is an exalted Jupiter. Jupiter loves being in Cancer because Cancer has that sort of watery, emotional energy and sort of quality of discernment. And I think, you know, it's very connected to feeling. So Jupiter thrives in the moist, watery environment. Jupiter also rules Pisces. So it rules Pisces. It's pretty happy in Cancer. It's quite happy in Cancer with the exaltation. It's pretty happy in Scorpio, I'd say. For some of you, you may have had a really good childhood and you feel like a lot of your strength comes from the support of the family. That wouldn't be the case for everyone, especially for those born in like in the 90s when Jupiter was in Cancer together with, I think it's the 90s, 89, 89, I think is Jupiter in Cancer, 89, maybe early 90. Um, because it was together with Chiron, so there might be a little bit of like tension between between your you being that nurturing and supportive and maybe not getting it in childhood. But either way, you are blessed with that understanding of how to make other people feel safe. And this placement also gives you the natural tendency to express the more giving and the generous side of cancer. And you attract, you actually, you know, you attract the most good fortune exactly when you show that charitable and that sympathetic, empathetic energy when you comfort other people. You can be really great with this placement in family business. You quite often might see people with this placement in in running the family business, real estate, food, um, being a manager of a restaurant, doing work that is healing, right? Healing people, healing animals, um, gardening potentially, sort of like 
whenever you need to nurture something, you'd be good at that. And for some people, you know, for some people, it will not be about family at all. But no matter what it is, you will dedicate a lot of energy towards it because cancer sort of accumulates things. It accumulates knowledge. It accumulates emotional awareness and then shares it with other people. You're likely to value tradition and believe, you know, sort of believe in a family unit and believe in sort of loyalty and traditional values having a family you may find yourself quite naturally you know, it might be easy for you to be a parent you might feel like you know like being a mother being a father is part of your calling and you may gain a lot somehow through becoming a parent right like through um or through your family, if we're talking about being in family business or having good childhood, having childhood, having a good support system, or maybe it's the family that you build for yourself, right? It's the family, be that like literal family with your husband, wife, and the children, or family you create with people you feel connected to, sort of your spiritual tribe, spiritual family. You're also likely blessed with good intuition with this placement and may trust, you know, you're someone who can really like trust your instincts when it comes to pursuing goals. A lot will depend also on the placement of your natal moon. That's why we need to look at the entire chart. Cancer is ruled by the moon. So if your moon is in Scorpio or Capricorn, the signs of fall and detriment, the family dynamic is more likely to be flawed and some of the Jupiterian wisdom may have to contend with that, you know, with the moon and the challenges the moon might be going through, which is maybe the mother, right? Like maybe the mother who um, with Capricorn instilled the value of like self-sufficiency and self-reliance to a point that it's sometimes unhealthy. And with Scorpio, maybe there were like really painful sort of challenging childhood feelings that you had to deal with and grow through. But no matter, you know, regardless of that, it's still a very strong placement and should bring you a lot of blessings, especially if you show that kind of sensitive, nurturing, generous, empathetic, willing to help other people side of it. Let me know how this resonates, if this is your placement. And if you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. We can dive into your entire chart. We can talk about your year to come, your relationship or anything else you'd like my opinion on. Now, if you were born with Jupiter and Leo, this is a very charming, very charismatic and popular and good at putting on a show placement, right? Like you're naturally, you naturally have, even if you don't try, right? Like you naturally know how to make other people feel warm and how to draw attention and how to keep attention. Um, you're maybe quite creative, right? Either you dance or you play an instrument or you act or maybe even like you have that leo is very much the sign of authority so sometimes you may find yourself in the spotlight and the public eye because you are a politician or you're like involved with your children's school or you're involved with the dis district and other people are very much drawn to you and they feel you know they feel kind of naturally like they can trust you, like you have those like leadership qualities that they find attractive. Um, professionally, you can find success through like creative pursuits, through entertainment, through children, and that involves becoming a parent or helping children, connecting with children. Speaking of children, you know, you also have that like childlike, fiery, playful quality to you. And so children might be drawn to your life and feel at home with you no matter what age you are no matter what the children are um, you can also find success in public speaking and having a youtube channel and sharing your wisdom with the world right i always think about the triad of fire signs and i think i heard it somewhere i didn't make it up sorry for the sounds but i have to have the window open <laughs> to get some air but I'm thinking of Aries as the initial spark, Leo is the campfire that everyone's gathering around, sort of steady people support it or it supports people, right? It draws people towards it. And then Sagittarius, when is this going to stop? I guess as soon as the light goes. <laughs> um, 
And Sagittarius is that sort of wildfire that carries on and picks up as many, it's just sort of like traveling, right? Like a little bit wild. And that's a good, I think, way of putting it together. So Leo has that natural ability to draw people in, to shine light, to empower people, to help people believe in themselves, right? Like I think Leo, if you're born with Jupiter and Leo, you have this like natural understanding um, that recognition is important recognition is fair it's like you know you know how to make people rec feel recognized and seen and you need that as well with this placement you're likely to attract the most good fortune when you are generous with other people when you use your light to inspire confidence in other people to share your knowledge right and where you conduct yourself with kind of this like dignity nobility sincerity and avoid the pitfalls of uh, being too kind of like proud and greedy in terms of attention or being a little bit selfish yeah, the more generous, the more kind you are with your time, with your resources, with your attention, the more likely you are to find success with this placement. Let me know how this resonates. And if you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I'll take a look at your chart as a living, breathing organism, coherent, all in one. We can talk about your relationship or your year to come. Now, if you were born with Jupiter in Virgo, this is Jupiter in the sign of humility in the sign of helpfulness service health and details right jupiter is very helpful very orderly and honest here and it's actually when you attract the most good fortune when you dedicate your energy to helping other to being to being dutiful to being kind of focused on self-improvement right like having strong routines which is what virgo is all about the more organized you are and the more you're focused not just on giving back but also on improving yourself the more likely you are to grow and to find success you may with this placement you may find a lot of kind of comfort and success by being in the service industry by doing social work working in nutrition, health, healing, right? Um, a Jupiter and Virgo friend is studying Reiki right now, which is very appropriate. And she's, you know, she's also Pisces rising. So there's that element of like spirituality and healing together. You are naturally very kind of focused on details and very attentive to details. And this could be your strength and this could be your weakness, right? Attention to details sometimes forces you to not see the big picture. Virgo struggles with not seeing forest for the trees and Jupiter and Virgo may get overwhelmed, get overloaded with work and sort of stuck worrying about things. Like the, the Jupiter, Jupiterian optimism over here is dampened by criticism. Like if somebody's criticizing you, it might be a bit like a lot harder for you maybe than it is for other people it's almost like if someone criticizes criticizes you you start to feel like what's the point right like your optimism almost gets turned off and that's where jupiter is in detriment in virgo because virgo has that analytical take everything apart mercurial nature and jupiter is happy in finding coherence and like believing into unity of things i highly recommend for those born with this placement my jupiter and taurus candle it is yellow it's decorated with um four citrine stones which are the stones of jupiter and can have a bit of more like soothing stabilizing um softening effect on your natal jupiter but once again the more you assert yourself with a desire to help other people the more you're able to remove yourself from worrying and focus on what your actions do for others the easier i think it will also be for you to deal with that self-critical nature and you're really good at taking care of others just make sure you're also taking care of yourself because there has to be there has to be a good balance and try to because once again like you know i think jupiter in virgo may feel like they're not particularly lucky or they're not like 
you know, super ambitious. Instead, you will value hard work. So maybe at times try to note all the good things that do happen to you and maybe like start a thank you list or what is that like, right? I don't know, three good things that happen to you every day so you can express um, so you can express gratefulness and feel like there is good luck around you. Let me know how this resonates. And if you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. Now, if you were born with Jupiter and Libra, you are blessed in terms of relationships. Of course, you've got to look at the entire chart together, but Libra is the sign of partnership. So you may be naturally blessed with your connections, right? Kind of meeting people who know people you know who can connect you with the job that you're looking for who can help you learn new things who can help you explore the world right you are naturally also likely to be someone who values partnerships more than other people because jupiter represents how we grow and what we consider valuable for growth so with this placement having a relationship will be a part of your growth strategy or growth mindset you also with this placement have a natural sense of fairness and justice and you may be very socially minded very politically minded you are quite aware of the injustices in the world and you may speak up about equality and fairness and um and even naturally attract good fortune in life when you're being fair and when you're being diplomatic and when you're helping other people solve their problem right problems right so being a diplomat being a judge being a lawyer are all quite natural placements here because of that sort of natural tendency you have to be the scale of justice right to have the awareness um that's what people with libra placements are quite good at like saturn in libra right it's not about the letter of the law it's not about just like sticking to the way things used to be as it might be with Capricorn placements but it's or even Virgo or Taurus but it's more about like what is applicable to the situation right now um, so being fair-minded treating other people with diplomacy being good at compromising while not sacrificing yourself and while not just being you know um, just focusing on people pleasing can bring you the most success and working in partnership. You may also find yourself benefiting through partnerships, right? Like maybe your spouse helps you start a business, helps you get the location for your first shop, or maybe you start a business with them and working in partnership can actually bring you success. Libra is a very creative sign, so growing creatively is quite important and you may actually find yourself as an artist, creator, or an architect, like lawyer I mentioned already, but like doing creative type of work together with like social justice, fairness oriented work. Even like being in politics, being a mediator are all can be great avenues for success. And you're also likely quite naturally charming and elo an eloquent speaker, eloquent communicator, good. Of course, a lot will depend also on your Mercury position, but you can use that Libran quality of creating beauty all around you, creating harmony all around you to get along with other people. Let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I highly recommend getting an adult chart reading. If you haven't done that before, we can look at your chart as a unity and talk about all of your placements, or we can do a predictive reading or relationship reading. Now, if you were born with Jupiter in Scorpio, this is a very inquisitive, deep, intense, passionate placement, right? You, with this placement, you see growth through going into that depth and not face, not kind of running away from shadows and like transforming the darkness, right? You have this deep desire for understanding and not just understanding but like understanding human psychology and what makes people tick you're naturally quite intuitive quite observant really good at reading people and seeing through people right once again like very good judge of human nature and naturally able to use your ability to understand other people to get power for example and power may come your way but you have to use it wisely you have to be kind of careful with 
you know, manipulating other people and maybe craving drama or getting finding drama. Um, I like, I actually think, you know, yes, of course, like there could be shadows with Scorpio and that is that maybe fearful attitude, maybe fear of sharing your true self with other people, being a little bit like secretive and closed off emotionally, but Jupiter tends to express the more like elevated qualities of Scorpio. And I think that understanding of like vulnerability and the fact that vulnerability applies to you and you need to be vulnerable eventually comes <laughs> to this placement. You attract the most good fortune and your treasures might lie in diving really deep into the topic, putting all you've got into a project, using your like, you know, intuition and doing research, studying new things. You also are quite naturally sexually magnetic with this placement. And so using that magnetic power for good to heal other people, to help other people to do like research investigative. You could be great investigator with this placement work and all be like really good. And, and doing work also like you can, you can be quite happy in the positions that involve like psychotherapy, astrology, um, understanding mysteries, you know, taboo topics, sort of exploring your own sexuality, open your, opening yourself up. Um, of course, Jupiter here is like a little bit more uplifted, but still Scorpio is still the placement of death and rebirth. And, you know, sex gets you close to death and rebirth. In French, it's called le petit mort, a li little death. Um, I think the climax is called that. So you can be really successful at like being a researcher, you know, being a therapist, being like a, in science, being good at problem solving, um, being a spiritual guide. Opportunities actually may come to you sometimes through sexual means. Like, you know, you start dating someone and they can help you, f they f help you find a job or you once in a while someone of this placement might find themselves sort of sleeping to the top but that's I guess you know that's more of like a rare type scenario but it could be it could be quite a good placement I think as long as you use your intuition as long as you um, do work that is helping other people transform and grow higher and sort of reach more let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. Now, if you were born with Jupiter in Sagittarius, this is Jupiter in rulership, Jupiter in its home sign. Jupiter is happy in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the sign of an adventurer, a conquistador, someone who goes on a mission, who always thrives for bigger knowledge, bigger understanding. Uh, and not just knowledge, but also sharing the knowledge, giving it to other people. So you can really think of like Jupiter and Sagittarius as the person that constantly keeps learning and traveling and expanding. And there is a gift of innate optimism. There is just sort of natural sense of things will get better. A lot will depend on other placements in your chart, right? Like if you have Saturn in your first house on your ascendant, you may be a little bit more Saturnian than Jupiterian, but Jupiter in Sagittarius is like a natural optimist, explorer, traveler, good at learning, good at teaching, always in for an adventure, right? And you attract the most fortune with this placement when you're generous with other people, when you're tolerant with other people, when you're not just preaching and forcing your knowledge down people's throats, but you're also practicing what you're preaching. This is actually very, very important because I've met uh, sort of authority parental figures in my life who would just like preach a lot without without like me asking for it right you know how it goes with like parents and grandparents and people like that and um, and sometimes it felt like a bit a bit too much I think but I'm also born with Saturn and Sagittarius so I may look at it from like a Saturnian perspective and be like I don't see you doing what you're telling me so why am I supposed to listen to you so Practice what you preach, right? Make sure you're not just sort of telling people what to do, but you're also leading by example. 
you can be quite inspirational with this placement that optimism and that charisma and that passion translates quite easily into being a motivational speaker um being a travel influencer teacher educator of some sorts you may also be quite athletic with this placement of course other placements considered but you know maybe working in like sports traveling around or doing work in publishing law um anything that invo involves like foreign cultures working with foreign people can be great for you too naturally you are someone who values freedom and you may encourage other people to uh, believe in themselves and be free and travel and go and sort of go forth and conquer right you do that and you encourage other people to do that as well so it's it's definitely you know it could be a very powerful placement especially in your sagittarius and pisces houses in your natal chart but you got to beware of that like you know tendency to maybe over be overly zealous overly preachy at times let me know how this resonates oh and one other thing you tend to have strong morals i think very kind of strong understanding of what's fair what's just and maybe what other people should do if you want to know more book or reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com we can look at your chart we can analyze your year to come talk about your relationship and more If you were born with Jupiter in Capricorn, you are someone who has a very well organized managerial ability. You are really good at structuring your day, at getting things done, at being dutiful and responsible. It's almost like you feel good if you did the right thing. Let's say there is someone comes to the store you're managing and they're behaving out of control. And if you're able to keep your cool and you know kind of present yourself as an, as an authority you may feel quite good about yourself because you maintained the status quo and you didn't resort to um name calling and screaming and things like that you may be quite traditional in your approach have like very traditional kind of goals climbing the ladder buying a house building a family um and likely you will kind of get to those places right because jupiter brings blessings jupiter is in its fall in capricorn because too much value may be placed on material achievement and status and satisfaction in fact jupiter and capricorn may sometimes struggle with opportunities like that right like um we've had jupiter and capricorn in 2020 right smack in the middle of the pandemic when the government was giving away the resources and extra money and a lot of people who needed the money didn't get it but a lot of companies that already had millions upon millions upon billions right got more money which they didn't need so when you're born with jupiter in capricorn at times you will receive that kind of opportunity that maybe is not fully ethical maybe it's not fully moral maybe it's taking you away from a spiritual calling that you want to explore but it's giving you financial stability so having to navigate those challenging kind of which way to go emotions could be a symptom here i highly recommend my jupiter and taurus candle because this is trining your natal jupiter but it's kind of stronger it's more balanced i think it's more focused on also enjoying life and building slowly and kind of creating stability versus just focusing on like work 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 so it could be a helpful accompaniment for your life so yeah, so you gotta be you gotta be aware of that like more skeptical attitude of Jupiter and Capricorn. Jupiter doesn't do particularly well in Capricorn or Virgo, right? Like in Taurus, it's it's okay. This candle especially, it's like co-present with Venus in Taurus, so it has it has good energy. But like in Virgo, in its it's in its detriment, and Capricorn, it's in its fall because Earth signs tend to be really grounded and practical, and it's harder for them to just like believe in things, right? so beware of the tendency to be skeptical it's also like capricorn is a winter sign right there's not a ton of resources in winter traditionally it's colder so it's harder to believe in like beautiful flowery things that's why jupiter is exalted in cancer which is the first sign of summer um so you you have to be aware of that tension you have to be aware of your natural like serious fearful skeptical attitude 
Um, and perhaps focus on long-term achievement responsibility, but make sure you're not sacrificing integrity, right? You attract the most good fortune, the most blessings and treasures, as I call them here, when you organize, when you direct, when you manage other people and you conduct yourself with that kind of ethical, mature integrity that you are blessed with. Let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. We can take a closer look at your chart and talk about your year coming up, your relationship, your gifts, talents, karmic purpose, and more. For those born with Jupiter in Aquarius, you are naturally someone who is unique, quirky, and unconventional. Something about you will always make you stand apart. Something about you will always be different, right? You're likely to be very social, have strong humanitarian ideals, strong understanding of community and the world and sort of politics. Maybe you read about politics. Maybe you're just like very aware, very in the know. Um, and a lot of your dreams and desires may actually be directed towards bettering humanity or delivering some kind of message. And with Jupiter and Aquarius, you can benefit through scientific work through the use of technology through working with other people right like through maybe like television and um space perhaps internet aviation you know like professions where you may work for like a large corporation or professions where you need to look towards the future where you need to practice like broad broader view and you attract the most fortune when you're actually like when you exercise that quirky, curious, open-minded personality you have, right? When you are being inventive and you're being cooperative and you're working with other people. Also, when you're doing kind of social work, when you're doing work that benefits the world somehow. You love freedom with this placement. You value, you value sort of having space. You will encourage other people to be independent and to be free and to be kind of um, an island upon themselves, right? Be happy within themselves. You're likely to be quite progressive. You may have some views that other people disagree with or find a little bit ahead of the curve and you can benefit a lot too with this placement through your friendships you're likely to value friendships you're likely to value community and you may have close ties almost like familial relationships with your friends intellectually also it's a very curious placement it's a very like you may you may be quite a good speaker and besides that those unique views that people might disagree with at times maybe not because they're wrong but because people are just they haven't had time to get to your level you can be quite i think like a good communicator and so working in politics working for nonprofits, working for some kind of like large organization and doing work that involves volunteering that involves building people up encouraging people's intellectual independence freedom and things like that is quite good for you with this placement let me know how this resonates if you want to know more book a reading on my website anastasiadesastrology.com now if you were born with jupiter in pisces here we're getting to another sign of rulership right pisces is the water yin feminine sensitive empathetic sign so if you have this placement you're blessed with empathy you're blessed with caring nature deep understanding of people deep faith there is you know there's quite a strong faith here with like faith in higher power and spiritual dimension and almost even like faith in the world helping you you can be a natural healer and natural sort of psychic or someone who has a connection to the spirit world to the world of the people who passed away right like you're maybe really good and like healing arts you're sort of almost like you're feeling drawn towards healing art therapy yoga meditation teaching um 
you know, spiritual teaching, astrology, anything like that. And actually, the more you dedicate yourself to those topics, the more you learn about astrology, spirituality, meditation, yoga, the more optimistic you feel, the more connected with the universe you feel. You attract the most fortune when you're generous and when you're charitable and the more you give, the more you're likely to receive. Um, your tenderness, your empathy, your openness can also bring you good people. And of course, you've got to be careful with, you know, be discerning. Don't just let anyone in. But that openness, that tenderness, compassion, looking out for the underdog can all be blessings for you. And like, because it's Jupiter in rulership, there is strong power of manifestation. There's strong power of like believing in things and them coming true, calling them into existence, creating opportunities for success just from connecting with that inner faith and inner belief that you possess. So it's a really good placement. You know, sometimes you may struggle with like Piscean sort of desire to escape or maybe not being focused and being a little bit like evasive and non-critical and sort of that's where I'm saying you got to be discerning because you can be quite generous with other people, but maybe not everybody pays you back. Um, and maybe sometimes you're not following through on the things that you're trying to achieve. So the more you're able to create a good balance between spirituality, sensitivity, and pragmatism and structure, the better it will be for you. Let me know how this resonates. If you want to know more, as always, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I'd be happy to talk about your natal chart, your karmic purpose, your gifts and talents, as well as give you a predictive reading, talk about the year coming up, or a relationship reading to talk about your compatibility with your significant other. And this is it. I am slowly making my way through it. Jupiter is our planet number six, right? Yeah, Sun. Well, I did Chiron, so seven, I guess. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Chiron, now Jupiter, seven. So we still have Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto left. I hope you're excited. As always, if you have any ideas for, for future videos, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so right now. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.